If you want to learn how to be a more effective clay court player, then this is the video for you. In this video, you're going to learn three tips on how to beat more players on the red stuff, or in most of our cases, the green stuff. The reason why this video is so important is because playing on clay is very different from playing on hard, and not knowing what the difference is will cause you to lose more matches warning what you should have done. So stay tuned, because in this video, I'm going to share three tips with you that will make you a more effective clay court player. The first thing you under have to understand is that tennis, I think, is about two things, time and positioning. Now, when we relate this to clay, clay does two things that I think disrupt most hardcourt players that are used to playing on hardcourt on clay. First of all, because the clay slows the ball down, which makes your shots individually less effective. What this means is it usually takes a lot more shots to get the same effect that you would have on hitting one big shot on a hard court. Second is positioning. Because of your footing where you can slip and slide on the clay court, your footing and positioning can be broken easily. So what this means is sometimes changing directions will break down your opponent's positioning. Now, let's get to the three th tips that I think will make playing on clay more effective. First of all, don't be afraid to go behind your opponent. This is attacking your positioning. Where in most cases, I would recommend going cross court a lot. In a clay court, because of the slower surface, you're gonna have more opportunities to go down the line and possibly wrong foot your opponent. This is something I wouldn't ordinarily recommend on a hard court, but I will recommend it more on a clay court because you have more time to set up for the down the line and you're not trying to hit a winner. The second tip is defense is the name of the game. Now on a hard court, you have to play defense because your opponent's playing offense. And a lot of times you're putting your, trying to put yourself in a position to stay in the point. On a clay court, I feel like defense can be just as powerful as offense. A lot of times when your opponent is attacking you on a clay court, you can turn their attack against them. By changing directions if the ball is left too short, or even if you're way back on the court, lobbing it up and pushing them back because it's harder to take the ball on the rise. So you have more opportunities to play defense and win points off of playing defense. So again, don't be afraid to play defense. When you're on the run, don't get suckered into going for some huge shot. Play defense and you're gonna find yourself in more points and actually winning more points. And it sets a good mental tone for your opponent to know that they're gonna have to win every point with you. The third and final tip is build your offense. Don't break your opponent with one big shot. A lot of times when we come from playing on a faster hard court surface, we're used to setting up for the big inside out forehand and then we get a short ball and we put it away or we come to net. On a clay court, you might have to hit three or four big shots. You wanna build your offense. Don't try to break your opponent with just one big shot. When thinking about building your offense on a clay court, think about playing a chess match. You're hitting more than one inside outs to get a slightly shorter ball to move your opponent off the court more and set up so you can have an easy opportunity. So building your shots might be taking what was normally a one, two uh, combination and make it a four, five, or six combination. Get in the habit on a clay court to think this way, building instead of trying to break your opponent with one shot. And you'll be way more successful and you'll make less errors. I hope these tips were helpful. If you like this video, please like this video. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave it below. If you want more videos like this one, check out totaltennisdomination.com. Thank you.